Start winding. Fast as you can. Stephen Fowler is in Mexico and hooked up to his first marlin. I guess you could say that holidays don't come much better than this. When a marlin peels off a few hundred metres of line, there is no guarantee of a catch. What transpires is a big chunk of teamwork. The angler forms part of the equation, the captain another position, and the deckhands a third vital link. Okay, start, get ready to wind here. No, he's there. Good, good job, dude. This is what you're going to go and do, are you? Jeez, that's hard. Quite clearly, this battle can be hard work for the angler, but add the broiling effect of a tropical Mexican sun, and the effect can be debilitating. The trick is to conserve energy and develop a technique which doesn't tire you too quickly. Battles in excess of 12 hours are not entirely uncommon, but in most situations where fish and tackle are well balanced, you can boat a fish in under an hour. See if you can get him along this side over here. Get a good tag in him. Murray Giles turn in the chair. It was not a marlin. While the Sea of Cortez is famous for the quality of its marlin fishing, there are a dozen different species to hook up to. It was Murray's turn in the sun, while Steve sought the sanctuary of an air-conditioned cabin. Well, he's We'll find out what it's all about ourselves. Yeah. All right. Or, hey, might be a wahoo. Can be. I see that. Maybe not acting like a dorado. Wahoo are great table fare, so no one was disappointed with this catch. In Mexico, the fish belong to the boat. They are the crews to sell, but most skippers are happy to share enough for a local restaurant to prepare you a sumptuous feast. Nice fish. Real nice fish. Have you heard of the little... Get a shot of that, boys. Oh, beauty. And you thought it was a little one? Racker. Oh, great stuff. Awesome right. experience. It ran away first off. I thought I had nothing. I wound, I wound, but the, the clutch was slipped too slack and he was just going out and out. Anyway, slowly got him up, got him up. When he got close, a bit of resistance there and a few good pulls with the legs. Real great. 
In Cabo, the game fishing fleet is on the water before dawn and returns during mid-afternoon. By then, a fair sort of breeze has got up and the ocean gets a little lumpy. The other thing that has you diving for cover is the heat. Cabo is described as a party town and at night the place rocks but it is the superb angling that drags people in from all over the world. The bay also attracts a large number of cruise ships that stop off to party, dive, fish, sail, jet bike, swim, shop or gaze at the area's many attractions. As we sat by the pool waiting for a cruise ship to depart, our attention was drawn to a multitude of splashes out in the bay. What were they? Dolphins, you say? No. They are manta rays, revelling in the carefree atmosphere that punctuates another beautiful Mexican evening. <laughs> 